Today we're installing the DTUK FSR Plus multi-channel tuning box to this 2 litre TFSI found in various cars produced by the Volkswagen Audi Group. For a full list of compatible vehicles, please check the description box below. Before starting your installation, please remove your keys from the ignition and allow the car to cool for at least 5 minutes. Ok, now let's get started. Right guys, fitting a DTUK FSR Plus tuning system to a 300 PS Golf R. Um, again, once you've read the fitting instructions, um, use a little bit of common sense and it's quite a straightforward process. Firstly, remove the engine cover and put that out of the way. And then you've got your wiring loom. Um, from a routing point of view, the box is going to live here between the air box and the battery tray. Um, so simply route the large amp plug under the air intake. And basically get it nice and neat and to where the box itself is going to be positioned. Then what you need to do is sort out all of your cables for the different connections. So you've got a battery connection, which is a positive and negative, which we'll deal with later, as it'll be the very last connection you make. You've got three physical sensor connections on this car. You've got cam position sensor, which is reference three on the loom which is on the back right hand corner of the engine. So we'll just put that over there for now. We have reference two, which is your upper boost connection, which is here on the front of the engine. We route the cables underneath any pipe work. And underneath this loom carrier here. Tuck them under so you can gain access to the sensor itself. Take a little bit of time with this because you don't want to break any clips or anything on the plugs when you're getting everything under the carrier. So the top sensor, simply unclip and our plug goes in there and on the other side you've got our connection into the loom. This only goes one way. It can be plugged in the wrong way but make sure that the clip is on the flat side of the plug, not on the side with the mounting block. So you're applying and connecting like that. The cam position sensor, very much the same as the boost sensor that we've just done, has a little grey safety clip, which you pull back, then depress, the plug comes off the sensor, and again, our plug onto the engine, very straightforward. This again, the same as the front boost sensor, will only go one way. Make the connection, lock the tab. The bottom boost sensor, route the cables around the airbox. Right, so this feeds down centrally, um, down to the bottom boost sensor. Um, just drop the cable down the front in between the fans and the engine and let it drop down to the bottom and then we need to jack the car up to get to that bottom sensor and make the connection. Right, T25 Torx bit to remove the under tray from the car. You've got four screws on one side 
the driver side and one in the centre and three on the passenger side and then simply depress the clips and off comes your under tray put the one side and lo and behold there's our connections that we're going to make under the car so it's just to continue all the way through locate the bottom boost sensor which is here same as above depress the clip remove the original plug install our plug from the loom and put the other plug back in to our loom to make the circuit. And once you've made the connection, simply reinstall the cover and put the screws back in. So now we've jacked up the car and done the bottom boost sensor. Um, we now need to make the final connection, which is the battery connection. So what we do here is um, battery cover. You've got obviously your two wires, black being the negative, red being the positive. Make sure you've got them in the right orientation. Um, positive is at the front on these engines and negative we use the negative terminal on the bulkhead at the back so the only tools you will need for this is a 10 mil socket on a ratchet um, and it's a simple case of loosening the bolt on the back bulkhead for the earth connection making that earth connection, tighten it up, not too tight, just enough to make the contact and again on the positive terminal of the battery, loosen that off and make the connection. Not too tight, you don't want to break anything and that is your loom installed. Now all we have to do is connect the box itself which again will only go one way and that's where your box lives.